Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you um, some Pokemon that I've made. So, well, they're not Pokemon that I've made exactly. They are, um, like, versions of Pokemon that I like and that I thought deserved some forms. So, in here I made some Pokemon with, with, um, my own, um, custom forms from the Maxenia region. <coughs> we have Maxini and Barboach, which is a steel ground type. And the region is based off of Minnesota, so all of these Pokemon are gonna have some way to, like, survive in the cold, harsh winters. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> this one, Barboach, has sharp spikes that he can use to break the ice off of the water. Same with Wishcash. Except he uses his sharp fins. And I kind of base it off of a catfish slash a blobfish. Even though blobfish don't live in Minnesota, I thought it just kind of would be funny. And then I made a new evolution for them. Maxinian Stegostong. It's mixed with steel, ghost, and Mekong. Um, so, it's steel ghost type, and the ghost part is a ghost catfish, because, um, even though it had all the necessary items, um, if, if it somehow didn't exactly get through the harsh winters, it became a stegostong, and the ong part of it is makong, like I said, which is a which is, um, a species of big catfish. M Maxini and Ghastly. It's a fire ghost type, and it's a fireball. <laughs> Technically, it's fire around it, but, yeah. Maxini and Haunter. Um, he has, like, smoke hands. Like, so he technically has four hands, and he has, like, fire slash smoke powers. So, um, yeah. Then, Maxini and Gengar, um, the things floating above his hands. So, like, right here. Um, those are, um, so, like, he has a halo floating above um, his head, and when he's ready to battle, he takes it in, he, um, he, like, cuts it in half, since it's made of fire, and he's made of fire, and he uses it to attack. <sighs> Maxini and Magikarp is, well, ice dark type, and he froze. He got completely frozen. Second completely new Pokemon, Maxini and Isolisk, and its its name is mis mixed with um, ice and a basil basilisk, which is a super big serpent. And I wanted to make it, like, something else before it turned into a Gyarados. Since, like, it doesn't make sense that um, a carp turns into a big serpent. And I know it's based off of, like, the ser like this legend or something about fish going up a river and becoming a dragon. But, um, but I wanted to make, like, my own, like, evolution like kind of like those videos when like it's like if Pokemon had like something before they fully evolved or whatever um here's Gyarados still ice dark type but now the upper part of his body is unfrozen 
even and his spikes at the bottom melted and those are like water geysers Maxinian Charmander is a ground fairy type and it uses its tail um, which has a shovel at the end of it to bury itself and um, it kind of um, drinks water from the soil and it doesn't exactly need to eat um, since it's blessed with like fairy powers so it doesn't exactly have to eat it only needs to drink Maxinian Tremelion he now has a shovel um, coming out of like his horn on the top of his head and um, they evolve when they're having like trouble trying to make a hole um, big enough for them and they get like super mad and evolve and it has this one has a really hard time shoveling since um, Maxini and Chameleon kind of has anger issues and he is always super angry and if something doesn't go his way he is going to flick dirt or use fairy powers at the per at the person or Pokemon closest to it. Maxinian Charizard is became ground dragon type and it is it finally came over its anger issues and now has spades on his feet and wings and can create floating shovels like on this um but he still has kind of still kind of has anger issues so when he something goes wrong um which happens rarely with him he gets really mad and um he'll start digging all the way into the core of the earth if he gets really mad. Maxinian Squirtle. I know it, the Q kind of looks like a G, but it's supposed to be a Q. Squirtle, um, its shell, um, came off, and its body froze, so its shell is technically an ice cube. Maxinian War Turtle is frozen, and only his head is left, and he is really trying to fight off frostbite, even though he can't really prevent it anymore. And then Maxinian Blastoise. He finally gets fully frozen, but by the time he gets frozen, he's adapted. He has adapted to being always super frozen and super cold, and now he has big snowball cannons. Maxinian Bulbasaur, um, um, when you, when a Maxinian Bulbasaur is born, it kind of goes through this stage, like, you, you know how, like, you shed skin? Well, it sheds feet, so sometimes it has vines as feet. Maxinian Ivysaur is, um... Um, it's a back has a grapefruit plant. I really like grapefruits, so I thought it would be a good idea to do for him. So, yeah, I gave it a grapefruit plant on its back. And then Maxinian Venusaur, a little big, um, is like, its back legs stay as vines. It finally got a tail because it lost its tail when it was an ivysaur and it has big horns on its head to protect its grapefruit plant and it uses the grapefruit to collect water so it can drink oh. 
Maxini and Machop um, is slowly being engulfed in flames since he accidentally um, went into like a fire when people are trying to stay warm. So its feet and hands are now on fire and its little things on its head. Maxini and Mach Machoke is, um, um, its head is only left, everything else is flames, and its, its legs are, like, it's kind of like lava, um, like frozen lava stuck to its feet so it can't move. Maxini and Machamp, um, he finally is engulfed in his flames, but kind of like Blastoise, he um, adapted to always being in the fire, and he, he is now in blue flames too, so he's no use to it, and he is super hot, so if you go next to him, you're gonna get um, really bad burn. Maxini and Scyther, um, passed away, and now it's, now it's, um, legs and arms have, um, Grim Reef, G Grim Reaper Scythes, so it's ghost, um, dark type. <laughs> That's my dog. Um, sometimes my my mom and dad and my brother howl at the dog, and the dog just goes crazy. <laughs> Maxini and Snorlax, um, is well Snorlax, but it's it got super fluffy. I don't know why I made Maxini and Snorlax because. It's already super fat, and I think it would be able to live through, um, like, winter, even though it's kind of like a bear, so it would have to hibernate, um, even though he technically does that all the time, but I made him be super fluffy, and, um, homeless people um, sleep on his belly if there's one around them at night so they can stay warm. Maxini and Tangela, um, is grass bug type, and it's a bush being infested by bugs. There's only a couple bugs right now, but when he evolves into Maxini and Tangrowth, he is just covered in bugs, and he is now one with the bugs. <sighs> Maxini and Wooper um, has to eat um, like um, fif 50 to 100 pieces of food every day to keep it warm. So, not a lot of people own a Maxini and Wooper because it needs to be constantly fed. Maxini and Quagsire um, can create food um, by using its hands. So, the food that it has, well, some of it isn't food. It's like he has a water glass right here, a pickle, an orange a mushroom, seaweed, an ice cube, and, like, airhead spray, but I, I put SW on it, so it says, um, so it stands for sour water, um, then its mouth is a portal, or, like, an endless pit, and it can never stop eating. <laughs> it Maxini and Stantler is a fire fairy type, and this was my uncle's idea since he loves deers, and so he is fire fairy type, and he can survive in the 
harsh winters and he has like a super fluffy tail um his hooves are like pink fire his antlers are pink fire Maxinian weird ear is <laughs> um weird looking but also it's dark fire type and it has a big fire beard and its antlers are fire and it um that fireball is supposed to be disconnected it's supposed to be like floating above his tail so I didn't do that as a mistake and then these are the this is the final evolu um evolution um line of the video Maxinian Ekans is now a leech it is not a snake anymore and um its tongue kind of looks like that like at the end there's a circle that's supposed to represent like a hole so it bites with its baby teeth and tries to get as much blood as it can or sometimes it has to eat ice or like melt it in his tongue and he has to live off of that sometimes Maxinian Arbok um, is more sharper and spikier, and the end of its tail has a big, um, big spike, and it has sharper teeth now. It doesn't have little baby teeth. Um, and these Pokemon don't have, um, eyes. They, they, um, they, like, use, they chomp their teeth, and it makes a big, like, clack, click, clack, click, clack sound, and, um, then it can use that to find its way. And the final Pokemon is a new, a new Pokemon, Maxinian Arvos. Arvos, um, I think it's actually supposed to be, um, um, Avros, but whatever. It's now like a super big leech. It is five, five, six, sometimes seven feet tall. Well, long, so if it stands up on its spike, it's that tall. And he usually, um, like eats the thing that it, that it eats and like gets all the liquids out of it and then spits it out for like the baby baby um Maxinian Ekans to eat or something and Maxinian Arbok even though it's like more a teenagerish Pokemon and Arvos is backwards for so um Sovra which I think it's actually supposed to be Sorva which is a one of the names for a big leech species. So um yeah, that's it. Um I'll try to make up like um Pokemon next. So yeah, I will see you again next time.